Hello everybody, it is me, Vincent, and good morning from Animal Kingdom. Today I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm doing a character breakfast. Tusker House just recently reopened and I'm here to check it out. I'm excited to have some good Mickey waffles and I'm excited to meet the characters. I don't know how this modified character experience is going to go, but I'm excited to try it out. So welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watch out! Yes, hello, hey everybody, good morning, welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. We are heading over to Animal Kingdom. Well, we're here at Animal Kingdom, I don't know why I said that. I'm in a little bit of a haste right now because I've got to head straight to my reservation for Tusker House character breakfast. It is over in the Africa section of the park and I'm excited and intrigued to be doing my first character breakfast. I don't get to do it very often, but I love sit down Disney breakfasts. It's one of my favorite things. I just, I mean, I just love Mickey waffles and good baking and a nice cup of coffee in a mug when you're here at the parks. I've never done character breakfast before for obvious reasons. I am an adult man here by myself with a camera, so it's kind of a little weird, but I'm doing it for you guys and for me because I want some good breakfast. So we're arriving at Tusker House now. We got to check in and uh, let's eat. All right, here we go. Checking into Tusker House. It doesn't seem very busy at 8.30, which is good for me. I guess. Tusker House does breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm here for breakfast. The lunch and dinner menu looked really, really interesting. It looked African inspired, a little bit more themed to the park while breakfast is a little bit more traditional. You're getting your Mickey waffles and things like that, but I'm excited to see what they have. I, I, I've, I'm i really kind of going in blind. I kind of skimmed through the menu because I like all breakfast food. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll find something I like. They're ready for me. Jumbo travelers, your adventure awaits. Head up towards the blue doors. Hello. Jumbo. <laughs> Alrighty, I got my table right here. Which is, I think it's a good spot. I can't tell. I'm like right by this open area. I think it's where the characters like kind of like come out and walk around. They don't come up to the tables anymore. They kind of announce themselves to the room. This is Nutella, so that'll have a little um, hazelnut flavor to it. Okay. We have the, uh, the butter and then that strawberry jelly. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. It looks great. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. I got some fresh fruit and some yogurt. I got some bread. Oh man, I was worried about like not getting enough portions, but I think I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> first things first, I got my cup of coffee and a bamboo mug. That's kind of fun. Then they've actually got a little specialty. Jungle juice is what they call it. This is orange juice, passion fruit, and guava. Let's see. Oh, that's great. Oh, that is so good. That reminds me of something at like Trader Joe's, but it's really good. That's awesome. I love like specialty juices like this. And look at all this food. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> my breakfast has arrived. This is a lot. This is some curry chicken over here. I see with some egg. Got my waffles, my bacon, my potatoes. Holy crap. Uh, all right, we gotta eat all this. You guys hear that announcement? Oh! Oh, it's Donald Duck. Hey! How you doing, buddy? There he goes. Saying hi to everybody. Hey, how you doing? It's me. How you doing? Hi, I'm Donald. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is fun. You know, he's still a little socially distant, but he does go to kind of each table, and there's like not enough people here right now where there's enough space to get sort of a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with them, which is nice, which is nice, but he's got places to go. I think Daisy's coming this way as well. Oh my gosh, I haven't even had time to pick at this food. Oh, here she comes. Daisy's here too now. Uh-oh, there's Daisy. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? I know, she's looking great. Hello, Daisy, how are you? Oh, thank you, thank you. Let's actually try and eat some of this food, okay? Let's jump into this curry chicken here. This looks so good. Oh, I love, I love these dishes here. Hey, Daisy, how are ya? That's great. I also realize it's probably meant to like scoop up and put in your respective plate, but I'm here by myself, so. Oh well, well look at these waffles. I got some Simba waffles and some Mickey waffles. These potatoes look so good. Everything here looks great. But I do love that I still get like a little bit of a more sort of Animal Kingdom style breakfast with the chicken curry. That was a nice touch. I wasn't expecting this. So that's great, but now we gotta have some waffles, some sausage, some bacon, some potatoes. Where's my fork? We're just gonna go right in, grab one of these four. Oh yeah, here we go. Come celebrate 
Hey Daisy. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. See, I like that. I like that. That's great. You know what? For me, I think it's all the level interaction that I need. Unless it was like a Star Wars character or a Marvel character. Oh, these waffles are so good. Oh, this is great. Something about these Mickey waffles, they just hit so good. So the cool thing is that the price you pay, pretty much everything is included with the exception of alcohol. So if I wanted more of those awesome waffles or I wanted more of these delicious potatoes or some sausage to go with it, I would just have to ask my server and they'll bring me more. But this is a lot of food already. And if you were like looking for something specific, like you know like, oh, my kid wants more bacon because they love bacon, they only eat bacon, then you can do that. But just like these three big dishes here, to me, as one guy, like that is enough. I <laughs> I think I can I can make do with this. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit and let the food settle before I pick up the rest of it. I'm also gonna wait for the other characters to come out here at Tusker House right now. It's Mickey, Goofy, Daisy, and Donald. And they come out in like different sets. Like Daisy and Donald came out in one little go, and then in the next 15 minutes or so, Mickey and Goofy will come out and kind of do the same thing, kind of work the room, talk to everybody and stuff like that. So let's wait for the big guy, Mickey Mouse, and then the literal big guy, Goofy, who's always taller than everybody. All right, they just start playing the music. Oh, it's Mickey Mouse. Oh my God, here he is. Hey, Mickey Mouse. We'll say it is so cool to watch the characters interact with the small kids and stuff like that, even from a distance. Oh, here comes Goofy now. Goofy with them long legs, Goofy. Hey, Goofy! <laughs> hey, buddy. Goofy and Shaquille O'Neal share the same shoe size. That's a size 23. Hey, what's up, Goofy? Looking good, dude. I like the pants, the hiking them up like that. It's nice. It's, a, it's definitely a choice, but I think you made it work, buddy. Looking great. <laughs> <laughs> Look Goofy in the back. Look Goofy. He's dorking it. Jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. Wow. Jumbo, everybody. Before I get out of here, I'm going to down my wonderful African mimosa. Look at that. And then I got this too. I got the check, which we'll look at that later, but I got this little card here with all the autographs of everyone today, because you can't get their autographs, but they'll give it to you in a fun little card. Here they are at Tusker House. How cute. Oh, that's great. Honestly, I just need one of these, just a little one, to get me going. There's a 10.30 showing of the Festival of the Lion King, which I haven't seen in forever, so I'm going to try to head straight to that once I'm done. Luckily, it's like right over there. This is pretty good. Now, if they serve bottomless mimosas, that'd be a different story. And here we say, Kwahuri, which means to go well. It's not goodbye, it's go well, which we are definitely doing. Okay, so Tusker House was pretty great. Like, I've never done the character breakfast experience, and honestly, I was a little worried. I felt like I was not gonna get like the same experiences you would get before with this sort of modified thing where they kind of stand in the middle and kind of go to each table, but it worked out. And like, <laughs> speaking for me as just like a guy who's here by himself, that's like the perfect amount of character interaction I need. Just like a, hey, how you doing? Let me get my picture or video with you, and thank you for your time, you know what I mean? For kids and families, it's probably a little bit different, but it definitely felt nice and organized. Like I said, I know I'm not the target audience for these type of buffet experiences and like I probably wouldn't come here on my own unless I had like a small relative or a small kid with me or something like that but it was still cool to see and I hope if you were watching this video I hope it helps you kind of figure out how you would like Tusker House the recently reopened Tusker House but there's one more thing I want to do before I leave Animal Kingdom for the day I'm gonna get in line for the Lion King show at 10 30 it's 10 o'clock now there's like a really long line I know this shows like a big deal but I didn't know it was like this big of a deal. Or at least I think at this point, maybe it'd be a little easier to get in, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. Anyway, let's go. In we go, wow. I haven't been in here in so long. This really is a great show. This is a sweet spot.
the festival of the Lion King is so good. Oh my gosh, as soon as I sat in that theater and all the performers started coming out and started singing, I got so emotional. It's such a great show. The music is so great. And I don't know, just, I love live singing. It was fun to see everyone so happy. And like, Lion King, it's just got a great soundtrack. I think Lion King is definitely like one of the best Disney movies, right? Easily, I think, top three or five. Easily, easily, easily. But I'm getting ready to get on out of here. I decided to walk through the Valley of Moara here at Pandora because, well, I wanted to walk this way before I left the park, but this was awesome. This was a fun, quick trip to Animal Kingdom. I got to see the Lion King. I got to have breakfast at Tusker House, which is something I'd never done before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision. Please be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. No particular order. Check out Tusker House. Tusker House was a good time. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed this character experience. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did, but I kind of did. I liked it. The food was solid. It was great. I get why people like character breakfasts, and I'm curious to see what the character experience is like in the next couple of months. You know, right now you're paying this certain price to have the characters kind of come towards the middle of the room and stuff like that, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of months things are kind of a little bit more on how they used to be because everything has been changing here at Walt Disney World. But I think for like how much food I got and the quality of food, at the very least, I enjoyed it and it was nice. You know, it's nice to have a big breakfast. Help lets you skip lunch and then you can like do more rides during lunchtime and then have like a big dinner, right? Anyway, that is all I got. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna get on out of here. Jumbo and uh, Quaharini. That means go well. I learned that on Kilimanjaro Safari, as did all of you, because you've all been on this ride before. Bye. Wow, 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 wow.